What is going on everyone? This is Chris Walton, your favorite real estate agent. Today I'm talking to you about how much to save when buying a house. This is a big question. A lot of people have asked this question, how much do I need to save up? How much is the down payment? How much is the closing costs? Well, if you're looking to buy a house for yourself, um, you're in the right place. This video I'm going to tell you all about how much you need to save up and the different costs. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Now one of the biggest shocks of buying a home is finding out that you need way more cash to close on the home than just the down payment. A lot of people think that you need to save up the down payment and that's the only cost there is. There's many other costs involved. It's hard enough to save up for the down payment only to find out that you need more, often a lot more, in order to completely complete the transaction. So first questions first, what is it can you afford? right? This is very important. You need to begin your budget by figuring out how much you, as well as how much your partner, if it's you, if you're a co-buyer, um, if applicable, how much you earn each month. Now, when you do this, when you figure out your budget, you need to include all your revenue streams from alimony, um, your investment profits, your rental earnings, your different jobs, every income that you have, you need to include it in your revenue streams. And you also want to wind up with a mortgage payment or you don't wanna wind up with a mortgage payment that is too much and you can't pay. So it's very important to be realistic about your monthly income as well as your expected expenses and to leave some breathing room in your budget for emergencies and unexpected costs that can crop up. Your down payment. This varies, right? With most lenders, if you want to avoid paying additional private mortgage insurance, which is also known as PMI, you're looking at at least a 20% down payment. But coming up with 20%, it may be difficult for first time home buyers. So mortgage lenders, what they do is they have options with down payments of 10% down, 5% down. Um, and if you qualify for an FHA loan, it's actually 3.5% down. If you qualify for a VA loan, there's zero money down, no down payment at all. It's amazing. Your closing costs. This is another big factor. Um, this is where things get a little complicated. The reason being is that the cash to make the purchase often becomes much higher than the down payment alone. So, on a, for example, on a mortgage, a $200,000 mortgage, you'll need to come up with roughly between $4,000 and $6,000 in addition to your own down payment. The typical rule of thumb is for closing costs, estimate about three to 5%. That's a good rule of thumb of the sales price to kind of predict your closing cost expenses. Now your, your mortgage, um, your loan officer, they'll be able to provide you with accurate numbers of how much you can expect to close. However, closing costs, they vary from one state to another. And this is due to differences in either the real estate transfer tax, um, mortgage stamps, which are government collected tax based on the percentage of your mortgage loan amount. Um, they could also vary based off of different rates charged for appraisals, attorneys, and you know, even title insurance. Moving expenses. So once you've sealed the deal and the home is yours, the next step is your moving expenses. How much are you going to anticipate spending in this move? This can include packing boxes, moving trucks, um, all of the above. There are numerous costs involved in moving and a lot of people, they forget to predict these costs. Monthly costs. So once you, you're in your home, you'll need the basics like electricity, running water, um, cable, internet service, all these you need in your new home. So don't forget to include these costs into the cost of buying a home. New home buyers should be aware that you may need to pay a deposit for utilities if you're establishing service for the first time. Um, if you have poor credit, some companies they may require a larger deposit. So plan ahead for these unexpected home buying expenses. All in all, how much do you need to save? Well, so if you're wondering, how much money do I need to buy a house? That's a smart question to ask, especially since buying a home can come with a lot of hidden expenses that are easy to overlook until closing day. Um, if you're getting a mortgage, a smart way to buy a house is to save up at least 25% of its sale price in cash to cover a down payment, closing costs, and moving fees. So if you're buying a home for $250,000, you might expect to pay more than around $50,000, $60,000 to cover all the different buying expenses. Budgeting. One of the easiest ways to calculate home buying budget is the 28% rule, 
which dictates that your mortgage shouldn't be more than 28% of your gross income each month. The Federal Housing Administration, or FHA, is a bit more generous, allowing consumers to spend at least 31% of their gross income on a mortgage. But don't forget that if you have other debts, you might consider them in addition to your mortgage payment to determine how much you truly can afford. That's all for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. Until next time, this is Chris Walton, your favorite real estate agent. Take care.